Everstone. What? What the fr- What the- <laughs> You can't run. Where are you even trying to run to? You would have ever wanted to swear to try to welcome back to Pokemon Adventures Red. We are at the climax of this game. We just- We just went into Team Rocket's headquarters. Pretty much in the last episode, Giovanni recruited three gym leaders, and they're running Team Rocket right now. There's three people from Palatown. There's red, blue, and green. They're a trio. We broke into Team Rocket's headquarters because- they baited us here. And Red is gone and he's fighting Lieutenant Surge right now. And he's getting his ass shot. Because Lieutenant Surge ain't playing fair. Koga is fighting Green and he's getting poisoned. He's not even able to fight or use his Pokeballs. That's how it is in this game. And now we're playing as Blue. The girl. Who's known as Green. We're not getting into that stuff. And she's just hanging out in the Team Rocket base. And pretty much in the last episode... We're trying to take down Giovanni. He's a criminal. They've killed Pokemon. They've tortured people in Pokemon. They have self-destruct chips and all of these Rocket members. So they're actually like a big Mafia screwed up organization. Mafia. No, Mafias are cool. Don't put a target on me. It's not, I'm, not, I'm not worth the target. Okay, I kind of want to put a green screen and put me in the corner. And I want you guys to let me know how it looks. So I'm going to teleport. How do I teleport? Um, right, Here's a toy. I'm going to toss this toy. And when I catch it, I'll be teleported down. This is freaking stupid. Oh frick! It turned green. <laughs> you made you can't see it. You can't see. My... I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this to do something later on in the video with it. Okay, we starting off with low energy because this is about to be hype. I wanna I wanna be as calm as I can. Okay, we're gonna try. That's the challenge. Try not to not calm challenge. Episode one. Smash like. I'm not PewDiePie. You can still smash like. Um, let's go. So, we're using her team right now, which is so cool, because we never got to use someone else's team in this game. Let's take work panels. I'm recording, right? Yo, this looks sick. Okay, watch this. I'm, I'm not even gonna look properly. Blind. Wait, there's only one path you can take. That scared the absolute crap out of me. Leftovers? I screwed myself. No, I want the first item. I thought I broke the game. Gonna scream at me? What is that sound? Ice stone. It's for Lady, I want to fight you. Why would I? You're that girl blue. You're responsible for the disappearance of my friends in Celadon City. I'll kill you right here. They died? The people from the Mew incident died? Look at blue. No, I failed. Don't don't self-destruct, dude. God, you won't get away from this. Watch out for karma. Wow, dude, gonna pull the karma card? How do I get that? I have to fall from another level? Wait, I can turn it off. You have to turn that warp panel off. <gasps> so you fight him by falling for this. What the hell is this? Maybe... Okay, we have to turn that panel off. Oh! God damn it. We're gonna go get that item. Hello? The thing is still there. What if I just... Okay, that's it for another day. Hello? I'm a father myself with two daughters. I can't bring myself to harm you. Consider yourselves lucky that you're not a boy. Wow, there. Consider yourself freaking blown up. What are you doing? Dear Diary, I can't believe this Solnet project was green lighted. Given the goal, they may mean. It's unethical. Green light project? What is that? Bruh. Hey, look, a little possum stuck into our territory. You're a possum. We're just not gonna fight anyone. Oh my goodness. Didn't your daddy ever tell you not to go out in the world alone? Are y'all freaking sexist? You have rocket grunts too. People have rocket grunts. What are you doing over here? Look at this focus blast, right? You never thought you'd see a Gen 3 focus blast. That looks really strong. That's that superpower animation that you can never use because superpower. What are you gonna do using superpower with the Reggie? That's all I'm saying. Okay, I think there's a point to her team right here. I guess your daddy changed you to be a strong fighter. Uh, Everstone. What the fr- What the- the most useless. I have a ma watch it go to blue. Watch it not even be mine. Why am I going through these work panels? Okay, I forgot. Okay, pretty much the reason blue is sneaky. Blue is the sneak one out of us. I think she's weaker because I think that's what they're trying to depict with her team. Look at my freaking team. Her blasters is as strong as our Ivysaur and Charizard, but the rest of her team is not as strong. But she's also not getting gym badges, so she's not trying to be as strong as Red and Green. But she's more sneaky, and she can. She can out-sneak you, outsmart you. And she's here because she had insider information from someone at Team Rocket about this plate that they have that can 
summon something strong, summon a powerful Pokemon that Team Rocket has here. So she's sneaking in to get that plate. And as a tidbit, the person who told her that is Giovanni's son. And it's on the sixth floor, isn't it? It's Giovanni's son, but he doesn't play a role in the manga. It's just a tidbit that his son is the one who ended up telling her. So I have to guard the sixth floor? Yes, my shift is over. It's your turn. We need someone to guard the plate device. But I just got back from my break. I haven't been on a break yet. Stop complaining. But I just got back from my break. That means, yeah, go back to work. So it's on the sixth floor. Look at her freaking face. Better take out the guard first. No, don't kill them. I'm not taking you out. Who do you think I am? I'm not taking anyone. I'm just going to go straight. Yo, I'm going to dodge all of you. I must get rid of you before Sabrina finds you herself. Otherwise, it'll be my head on the line. It's, this is pretty cool. These are really hard battles with her team. I gotta level her Blastoise up. Eek, it's you, the girl who spoiled her plans back in Silicon City. Tell me where the plate device is. The what? Useless. Oh my god, Blue. I never knew she would say that. I thought you would try to pester her more. With your powers. Why would I take these? This is... This is... Someone played Minecraft over here. I'll take a suit belt. I bet you if I use my items on blue, she won't give it back. So I'm not using crap. The mood bell. Carbos. Yeah. This place is enormous. Team Rocket gotta be making some real money to have a place like this. <laughs> they have tea. Amazing how far you can go when you slip past one measly guard. I s s slip past like seven. Now there's nothing between me and the sixth floor. Psychic sounds? What, what, what was that? Psychic sounds! Wait, wait a minute, I was indoor just a while ago. Hey, 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 do the power of my psychic Pokemon. God damn it, Sabrina! With our freaking Team Rocket dress. I'm never letting you go for that. Ordered an XXXL shirt? This is my dress now. You will have to endure your most terrible fears. So this is the trio, dude. The three evil gym leaders that run Team Rocket. We're fighting them all. Red Lieutenant Surge, Green Koga, Blue Sabrina. You can't run. Where are you even trying to run to? Ch Come on, Blastoise. Kadabra, eliminate that Blastoise. No! Kadabra, disable now. You disabled her. I can't move. Hey, hey, hey. You're only talented at fooling silly boys. Scared as you are, I figured you'd lead with your strongest Pokemon. She doesn't have strong Pokemon, literally. All she has, her two strongest is Blastoise and Ditto. Manga panels, give me some manga panels. So, if Blastoise falls, you're pretty much done, aren't you? Ha 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 ha. Do you see? This is what happens when you fight Team Rocket. You're the one who's gonna see something. Will the real Blastoise please come out? It is lighter. <laughs> Mega Punch, you punched her? You punched the Kadabra. What? If that was Blastoise, then the other was... A Ditto? I don't even remember that. I'm just letting you know facts that a Ditto is your second strongest. I can fool more than just silly boys. I can also play mind games. So that's the matchup. Are you kidding me? Boss fight time? I love this. Oh, she healed my team up. Guys, I already told you. Red is losing the Lieutenant Surge. Green is losing the Koga. How are you gonna... You know you get your, you're gonna get your ass whooped. Unless? Just kidding. Ha ha ha, JK. Unless? What's your Kadabra saying? Kadabra. Alright. That's pretty cool! It really is a boss fight! Let's go! Finally, we fight Sabrina! There's her dress. There's some long ass hair. That's beautiful. Team Rocket Sabrina. She only has Kadabra. You're gonna get your ass. She can sweep my team with this Kadabra. Her blue's team is really bad. But I can just... You took my rain dish. I can just skull bash. I can just go into Ditto and, and steal your Kadabra. You're freaking dead. I have rain dish. <laughs> I'll take it. They intended this matchup, so she traces your rain dish as well. You're freaking dead. She's so cool with the freaking Blastoise dudes. You're dead. Are you kidding me? I'll flash you! I flashed you! Sabrina? 
Sabrina, you she beat you? Huff, huff. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so she uses Kadabra only. Is Blue losing right now? Huff, huff. Grr, it's not over yet. Kadabra, disable. Why you keep disabling me? Bruh. You freaking ableist. Ah, I can't move again. Enough games. You can never match me when it comes to fighting. You're certainly a good fighter, but I guess that's all you care about. Judging from your worn out skin, your scrawny body isn't healthy like mine. Stop it, Blue! This is why it's a girl on girl fight. They don't just have to get under the, each other's skin. This, this, this is what they do in the manga. They just be freaking cussing each other off. You old witch. Your skin be. My body, on the other hand. Grr! Cheap shot. <laughs> Kadabra, cut her in half. What? Pokemon's on her chest? <laughs> okay, this is what happens, okay, guys? Hear me out. Hear me out, okay? So, this is what. Listen. Blue fights Sabrina. She uses four of her Pokemon in the fight, and she is just barely matched with her Kadabra. Were her other two Pokemon? I don't know. But then, Sabrina lets her guard down, and she disables me. Is I've never known I would say that phrase. And so I'm stuck like this. <laughs> and when she goes to cut me in half, put some manga panels, okay? She hit her freaking Pokeballs, oh and now God. she's like, Oh, I'm disabled, but look who's out, my two Pokeballs. You want Pokeballs on your chest? Clefairy, you screech. Jigglypuff, you sing. Eh, these hideous sound waves. Uh, they're giving me a headache. <laughs> oh, she's a gym leader? Well, now that I'm here, I might as well take her badge. <laughs> Do you see that? Red is losing to Lieutenant Surge. Green is losing to Koga. She beat Sabrina. She beat her. She got the Marsh badge. We're getting the evil gem badges now. Time to go. End of Blue's Tale 2 bonus chapter. Dude, I, don't, I didn't even properly remember this, but I was right. She doesn't have to be the strongest. She can outwit you and beat you. Freaking Koga, the cheap shot ass ninja. The shadow clone. Yeah, <laughs> can't move at all, can you? I'm inside the muck. I'm freaking green right now and I'm stuck inside his muck. Like a cheap ass. Ha ha ha, can't move at all, can you? Muck's toxic sludge attack has completely rendered you helpless. Uh, look at his wow, look at his freaking face. I remember you. You're the buffoon who mind controlled me back in Lavender Town. See, these matchups are intended. Red is supposed to fight Lieutenant Surge because Lieutenant Surge tried to drown him. He's the one who got mind controlled by Koga. And we got Sabrina fighting Blue because it's the battle of wits. I'll put let me put some manga panels. He's freaking getting toxic. Sludged, so he can't move his arms. So this isn't even a Pokemon battle. <laughs> He's like, like I don't even send out your Pokemon. Last time I was careless. This time I'll make sure you won't get anywhere near your Pokeballs. Uh. A Pokemon trainer without their Pokemon is nothing more than a defenseless kid. You're on our turf. Everything here makes us stronger. Your friend, Thamel, probably isn't doing so well himself. <laughs> Thamel? Red! His name is Red! Heh, <laughs> you're in no position to be worrying about other people. He cares about me? Oh my god, it's the palette friendship. The real reward was the friends we made along the way. These friendship speeches. It would be effortless to kill you now, but I have something to ask you. I understand that you're Professor Oak's grandson. We've been asking him to cooperate with us. However, he's just been way too stubborn for that. Terrible, right? Now, how do you think we might change his mind? Do you suppose he would change his mind if he sees his grandson suffering in agony and pain? The choice is yours. Either help us with Grandad or melt slowly in Muck's acid. Well, I choose neither. No, you're gonna melt, melt slowly. Scyther! How did you send it out? Good job, Scyther. How did you send it out, girl? I knew if I played possum long enough, you let your guard down! Oh shoot, he's got wits too! That is what he does! That's listen, that's always what happens, okay? If you beat someone and you and you're so overpoweredly strong that they didn't even put up a fight, you let your guard down. You don't want to kill them right away. And it's it's a real human thing, and it always ends up being the downfall of villains. I knew you let your guard down. <laughs> you think you're smart, don't you? Return, Muck. 
Feast your eyes on Articuno! Yes! What? Oh my god, that's where they cut you off? Sabrina, you suck. Didn't even use your Moltres. Blue freaking got you. This is pretty sick, dude. So green frees himself from the poison. And now he has to fight the Articuno. I'm about to get blown up here. I've already been shocked my ass. Now if I pick the wrong Voltorb, I'm gonna get blown up on Lieutenant Surge over there. This is so cool. I love how they're showing what everyone's doing at the same time. So I think... So three of these Voltorbs will blow up. And one of them is powering the electric field. So I have to pick the right one. Like he's playing mind games with me. You freaking... Alright, it's so obviously this one. Zip zip. Okay, I can defuse them myself. Okay. You self-destruct. They all gonna self-destruct. I found the right one. Zip zip. Maybe it isn't? That was the right one. Yes, the electric barricade is gone. Ah, what? I don't get it. I got rid of the Voltorb that was generating the electricity. So why? Why is the barricade still generating electricity? What could it be? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you really want to know? You want to know why there is an endless source of electricity? Do you really want to know? Well, take a look. Zapdos, he says rock. Yo, man, a lieutenant surgeon the Zapdos, Coco with an Articuno. Zapdos, this can't be happening. <laughs> I caught the Zapdos at the abandoned power plant. Thanks to Zapdos, I will have an endless source of free energy. The legends were right after all. <laughs> no, you guys need to see this, okay? So in the manga, this dude comes strapped. Like he a war hero. He comes strapped with Voltorbs, like Chewbacca. And he has underwear. I don't wait, I shouldn't say that part. Like he's ready to like throw grenades at you like Voltorbs. He's strapped with electricity. Ha <laughs> Now, boy, ask me again. Ask me whether I still want to go back to being a gym leader. I see what you mean. I'll take a Zapdos. Zapdos, I command you to use your full power. Ivysaur, come out and use Razor Leaf to cut the cords. What? Grr, no big deal. With Zapdos, you'll lose quickly. He's got rid of the barricade. Now we get to fight him. Hey, what? What up, Zapdos? Can I catch you real quick? I'm gonna leave. There's no escaping, kid. Okay. I don't want to break the game. <laughs> What's up? This is what happens in this part, huh? We get to fight him. I took down a Moltres. I gotta take down a Zapdos. Zapdos, electrify him! I don't want to see anything left of him except for his ashes. So, Zapdos fixing up your hair? Lieutenant Surge. He's got four Pokemon. What the hell is Voltorb guard? This is what I was saying! He comes strapped! They made it! Guys, he is strapped with custom Pokemon... Voltorb, Magnemite, Electrically Charged Weapons. My dude is a war hero. Let's freaking go. Uh, let's, let's see if we can do anything. Oh, I'm stupid. I, I was saving Aerodactyl for Zapdos. I screwed up. I love it. He's freaking shooting a gun at you and you're fighting him with your Pokemon. <laughs> That's pretty smart creator. Game creator. You think I'm a joke? Give me that 53. Pauly Shunner and Hydro Pump. Dude, I need physical moves. Okay, it's an upgrade over Bubble Beam. Almost done. It does twice. No, it doesn't do twice. It almost does twice. Zapdos is last Pokemon. No! I need Aerodactyl for this. But I'm not faster than a Zapdos. Holy crap. Oh, shoot. I'm faster, but it won't kill. <laughs> I'm actually starting to lose Pokemon at this part of the game. I went a long way without losing any Pokemon. You see this right here? You see this right here? Put him to sleep with Polly. Body slam them. Body slam him again. Oh, Teeter, you should have used Ice Beam. Dead. You should have not lost the battle. That was the cheesiest. The cheesiest pizza. Here's another Pokemon. Won't turn me on again? Get this crap out of here. Get out, son. Get out. Two guns and Electabuzz was unzap those. That is strapped. You guys need to see this freaking Chewbacca thing, though. A stubborn boy like you needs a more decisive blow. So, what context? Zapdos, maximum overdrive. Rock, what are you doing? Get off my shoulder first, you stupid bu- ah, It's not possible. Since he's a gym leader. Uh-huh. Got it. He got the gym badge. Zapdos kills him? 
I don't know if he's dead. But Zapdos is the one who defeats him, not even me? No matter how many Pokemon you've got, or how powerful they are, nothing is more powerful than the bond of friendship between a trainer and their Pokemon. My dude is kissing the ground. Ugh. Okay, this is what happens in the manga, guys. So, Red tries to think strategically, and he tries to take control of the electricity and use it all to zap Lieutenant Surge. And you know what this man says? He shows his under and This man pulls out the fact that he's wearing thermal electric resistant underwear. And he's like, I came prepared, boy. <laughs> I guess eventually what? He gets his underwear torn? I don't know what happens. He freaking... He gets zapped by Zapdos. That's all we need to know. Let's see. Let's go. I lost. You had me a checkmate. Then you decided to play some games trapping me. Now you lost. Um, I wonder how Green's doing. I really wonder. Hey, what's up, you two? Green! Careful, Damo. That guy has Articuno. Articuno? It doesn't make sense. How is he controlling Articuno this easily? So you finally noticed. You both seem to have forgotten that these gym badges are more than just souvenirs from gym battles. Each badge contains an extraordinary power that heightens a Pokemon's abilities. So this is this is something that they touched about in the very beginning of the of the series. The gym badges aren't just metal plates, they like they're something special. Almost like a Z-Ring, except they're not a Z-Ring, but they have some sort of special element to them that heightens a Pokemon. It doesn't have to allow Z moves or Mega Evolution or anything, it just heightens a Pokemon's power. They also empower the trainer to control any Pokemon. This Articuno happens to be under the power of the four badges held by Team Rocket. The Team Rocket tried and our exalted leader. <laughs> That's how strong four gem badges is. We can make any Pokemon jump to our every whim. That's why we threw away our status as gym leaders. This is power. Now that I've got both of you right where I wanted, it is checkmate. Articuno, let's go. Ooh, double battle? I was gonna say. Because blue doesn't have his Pokemon. Well, green. All he had was sight there, and he's still in the toxic mess, something like that. Yeah, so in the manga, Green loses to Koga. He loses to Koga because he can't fight him. He's being poisoned and he's gonna get bitten by his Golbat and killed. And that's when Red jumps in. So that's why Blue's, Green's not in this fight. But Orokuna, how the hell are you gonna do this to me? You freaking acknowledged me back on Seafoam Islands, saved me, flew off. Now you're gonna help this dude. Look, he has the ride on! From the very beginning, the Rhyhorn he injected? Damn. He has six Pokemon, guys. I'm ready for you. I'm ready to sweep your entire team, boy. That's right, Koga, you a boy. Dead. You a little foolish boy. I'm literally sweeping his entire team. He had a tentacle, he had... What else he got? Articuno. Shoot, man, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... I don't wanna... I don't wanna lose. There's been so many boss fights in a row, it's kind of scary if I lose. I body slam. Articuno, such a majestic Pokemon, dude. It's one of the most beautiful, I think the most beautiful of the legendary birds, but... I think Articuno kind of sucks, I don't remember. The only bird I was able to... No, 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 Articuno was so fun to use against lands. I, I did have Articuno on my team there. Okay, I'll ice beam you, love ice. I'll heal you, this is my intention. All three of the birds are really cool. I just think Zapdos has the most potential. He has the last Pokemon. A muck. This is the muck you poison man's with. How about you drink some water, you freaking purple water drinking monkey? Drink some even more water. Damn, I swept this entire team with Polly. Dead. <laughs> I don't have any other members. They all died. I really was gonna lose. Peace out, man. What? What? Articuno, you share cold. Alright, uh, Charizard, strike him down! <laughs> Charizard versus Articuna? This is the matchup. Iron Tail! You've won this round. Articuna, return! Sucka jumps out. He escaped! So did Articuno. Charizard, the soul badge. Dabble, take this badge. Remember what Koga said? Use it. Let's meet again soon. Oh, shoot, dude! What is this? Our fifth gym badge? And these dudes talking about four gym badges making you strong? That's the line they draw in this game. If you have three gym badges, you're a strong-ass trainer. 
forging badges mean you're a really strong trainer, and that's where we are here. Let's go, Charizard. Oh, he's gonna chase after him. Where are you going? I'm gonna find Grandpa and the others. Beautiful history. Yo, I love, I love the Articuno Charizard matchup, man. That that fills you with such freaking nostalgia and hype from what happens in the anime, where Ash goes back and gets his Charizard. How long have I been recording for? Can we do this? Do you want to play as green now? So we have like four. What do we have four? We have four gym badges because we have Brock's, Misty's, Erica's, and then now we have Koga's. Yes. Did I just stop there? Yes. Bonus chapter, Green's Tale 2. <gasps> really, man? He's flying on the Charizard. My grandpa and the other people are somewhere in this building. But on which floor are they keeping them? Press your directional buttons to move Green and his Charizard. It is advised not to use your fashion box. <gasps> I'm flying on this dude? You're kidding me, right? God damn it. I need to end it. I really need to end it here. But well, he's right here. Oh, hell nah. Alright, guys. Do we keep going? What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm gonna end it here. Hit that like button. It helps uh, Pokemon Adventures Red so much. Uh, we're at the end of this game almost, guys. This has been such a fun run. We beat all three of the evil gym leaders. We're coming for you, Gio. Giorno, Giovanna. Hit that like button. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace. Let me know what you think of the green screen.